Hello and welcome to Wednesday. So, I just wanted to talk real quick about sitting down and playing games with friends. Because that is something I did today. Um, I played uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, I played some zombies with Aunt and Patrick. Um, we didn't record it. We just kind of hung out and, and played the game. Uh, which honestly is refreshing because I don't play a lot when it's not recorded or streamed anymore, which is not inherently a bad thing, but it is definitely something that, like, I need to do more of. I need to play games for myself. Um, so, like, having a night like this where I was just hanging out with friends and playing the game <laughs> is, like, super refreshing. Um, we do really accomplish much. We played one map, and it was just a very long map. Um, it was based around, um, uh, Crash Bandicoot. So, it was fun. <laughs> it just was a very long map. And then it got late, so it, it was, it was time for bed. But don't worry, I'm still working on the movie. Um, but it definitely, um, I definitely needed this day of, like, relaxing and, and like, letting it let me letting myself just breathe because <laughs> I was spending so much time on it that I, I just felt like I needed it. So me and Amber did a stream today. Uh, we were originally going to have me sit down and start playing uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. It's not happening anymore, clearly. Uh, so we sat down, watched the... <sighs> the Riku side of uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Chain of Memories because neither of us wanted to play that crappy card game. So we're, um, we did that and basically it went well. We watched that and then hung out for a little while after that. Went until about two o'clock, a little before, uh, but it went well. Chat seemed to enjoy having her there. I enjoyed having her there. She seemed to enjoy doing it. So, thankfully, it looks like we'll be uh, good to go in the future when we uh, do get Paper Mario going. Which, Saturday. It updated to say Saturday. So, hopefully, it gets here um, at this new time and we don't have to worry about anything going forward. Um, I, all I really need to do now is, like, get that edited up, and then it'll be ready to go out. The entire thing is recorded, so it's nothing to worry about, like, the first game. Uh, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna release it, because I do have to talk to Luna and be like, hey, what are we looking at here? Uh, but it's definitely coming soon-ish. So, that looks good. Also, I got a package today, it's over there in that corner, but, um, I decided not to open it today because, well, one, I know what it is, but two, I've been just working on the movie all day. I got done with, uh, the rest of Friday, all of Saturday, and I got started on Sunday, so I got a lot of good work in on it today, which means it's coming soon, <laughs> which means, uh, I won't be two weeks behind anymore for much longer, but, um, I definitely need to, um, finish that up, give it a, a second pass, and hopefully all will be good. But for now, I do need to go to bed soon because I got work tomorrow, I make sure I wanna make sure I get enough sleep and it's already almost one o'clock, so <sighs> I'm gonna have to call it here. Also some of the um some of the uh, footage corrupted, so I'm uploading it here to uh, make sure Jordan can have it. Anyway, that's it. Going to bed. This is a screen that I'm starting to get annoyed to see, because that means that the transfer stick that I use is uh, not working. No matter how many times I um, unplug it, plug it back in, Restart the uh, phone. 
I hope it's not like broken broken, but fuck. It finally connected. Well, oh, no, never mind. I thought it connected. Like, I, um, was looking to the left here while I was, like, looking it up because this phone was plugged in. And then it changed to the loading screen. I'm like, oh, cool, it finally connected. What the fuck? And then, no. What the hell? So, in addition to having the issues with the, um, the transfer stick, I got a package today. And I know exactly what this is. So I'm not going to waste any time. It is something I'm very excited for. And something I kind of hoped would be here before the trip, but it's fine that it wasn't. It's a shirt. And it came in a second layer of plastic for some reason. So let's open it. This is the... Room Controllers 2024 uh, special shirt. If you, um, whenever their marathon is going on, you can buy a shirt themed around the, uh, thing. And I, I've been buying them the last couple years, so I wanted this one too, especially because, well, one, I could wear the shirts whenever, but also this one is, like, very cool design, so very happy to, uh, that I got it. Um, it, like I said, I was hoping it would be here before the, um, before the trip, because I think I wore last year's shirt at last year's trip, so I was a little hopeful, but it's not the end of the world that it didn't get here in time. But I'm excited to have it, so, yay. <laughs> uh, I've been working on the movie, uh, as I'm sure you <laughs> know. The problem is that Ramirez sometimes lags so bad that I have to just sit here and wait for it. I've been waiting for a couple of minutes now and uh, it's just a shame because my computer is running so badly. And this is why I'm very grateful for Luna's help because I would not be able to get stuff onto plays as consistently as I have without their help. But that's the other reason that uh, the movie has been taking so long. But obviously you have it long before this, but, um, the fact that, uh, I have to keep stopping and starting because my computer decides that it just doesn't want to do. I really need to try to save up for a new computer soon because this is just getting ridiculous. I did it. I finally finished the first pass. I, um, I need to go through and, like, trim it down a little because, um, and I can double check the exact time, but it, it was long. Two hours, 48 minutes, eight seconds. That's how long it, uh, was after the first pass. I do need to trim it down a lot, um, but as I'm sure you'll know, because it, because I've said it repeatedly now, it's out before you get this. It, uh is shorter than that because I trimmed out some of the stuff that didn't need to be there. I guess I should get started on that. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow. I don't know. I should start on it now. Thank you for choosing Limited Run Games. Should you need any help with your order, contact us at this website. So I got a, uh, a thing from Limited Run. Let's see what it is. Night Trap. Now, you might be wondering, why did you get Night Trap for the Game Boy Advance? The answer is, Game Boy Advance video. It's not part of the original run, but I, I wanted it anyway. Just on the basis of, I want a complete collection of everything released as a Game Boy Advance video cartridge. So, for better or for worse, that includes this. So I, uh, I pre-ordered it, and I honestly kind of gave up hope on it ever arriving, because it was sitting in the, uh, it was sitting for quite a long time, uh, just waiting for it to 
be produced and, and sent out and everything. So I'm glad it finally came, but like, damn, that took forever. <laughs> and like, that is kind of par for the course for all the limited run games stuff, but like, jeez. Jeez. <laughs> but I'm glad to have it. I, um... I guess I could open it. On second thought, I'm gonna leave it for now. And I'll open it on stream. I don't know when exactly, but I'll open it on stream. Just for, uh... For shits and giggles. Just because it would be an interesting piece uh, of discussion. Because I recently did a stream right before the trip of showing off everything in my collection. I want to show off the new stuff too. Um, because on in addition to this and the stuff I got at the convention, I also got those uh, Super Nintendo games there. Which is a whole thing for a different day, but We'll talk about that when it's relevant. But I, I should, like, go over on stream all of the stuff that I got at some point. So, uh, me and Amber did the stream today of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. And let me actually grab that. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So, this is obviously the remake on Switch. And I did get the, um original some time ago, but I wanted to play this version specifically because it is, like, the most up-to-date and most pretty version of the game. Um, obviously, uh, the art style is up for debate whether people like it or not. I personally really like it, and Amber is very into the series, so I wanted to have her along because while she has the ability to play it on her own time. I am limited to stream. But I tend to get lost easily. <laughs> like, the game will tell me what to do, then I'll go, like, a week without playing, and then be like, what the, f what the hell am I supposed to be doing? So having her there will be a, a good... Plus, the game also, like, gives you a little nudge, or the ability to ask one of your party members to be like, hey, what were we doing last? Which is great, <laughs> but, um... <laughs> figure just having somebody there who is familiar to, to, like, tell me, hey, if you need help, this is what you're supposed to be doing. That is helpful. I do appreciate that. Plus, you know, people tend, people seem to enjoy the, uh, Kingdom Hearts playthrough, so having more content with the two of us together is pretty nice, in my opinion. Uh, but by and large, that's what the, uh, goal is, just to have more of us spending time together. Anyway, we are limited on how long it can take, so we, um, I definitely, uh, hope we can get through the game before she goes back to the next semester, because she's still working on that degree. Anyway, I don't really have much else to say today, and I do need to go to bed because truck, but the, uh, movie is almost done. I'm about halfway through the, the second pass. Once I'm done with the second pass, it should be good to go. So, I'm gonna call it here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.